Melissa, what's happening over there? Thanks, Joe. That's right. Hazmat teams were called to the airport at around 10.50 this morning, but the exact specifics as to why really remain unclear at this point. We are here at the Kiss of Mud, one of the muddiest obstacles in the Tough Mudder, and the only thing we can do from now is get muddy. Let's go. No blood, no glory. That's what Tough Mudder is all about. After spending more than 15 hours on a Greyhound bus traveling from Las Vegas to Sacramento, Mr. Brown was dropped off at the bus station downtown, was quickly swooped up by Sacramento Police Department and brought here to the UC Davis Medical Center Emergency Department. Graduated from college in Boston a few years back and I lived in the Back Bay area. I actually lived about four blocks away from where this finish line and ultimately this tragic event took place can see now the snow is falling that's lake effect snow as this weather system pushes in to the quick response from law enforcement the suspect was apprehended quickly and the scene was cleared reporting from Brinkby Avenue behind the pepper mill Marissa Schwartz News 4 you don't need a degree in art history to recognize his name Vincent Van Gogh he's one of the most well-known artists of the 20th century his paintings are valued in the millions and have been displayed front and center at the world's most prestigious museums. But why did one of those paintings never make it to the walls of the Louvre? Well, the painting comes with an amazing story to tell. The painting, known as Study by Candlelight, was purchased in the 1950s by award-winning Hollywood producer William Getz. Getz was told the painting was real, but art historians disagreed. It has a very strange history of being called a real Van Gogh, then not a real Van Gogh, then a real Van Gogh, then a not real Van Gogh. Hank Tromp, an anthropologist from the Netherlands, spent the better part of the last decade researching past debates around some of Van Gogh's paintings. Its authenticity has been debated for years, but a conclusion has never been reached. Myth has it that the owner destroyed this particular painting in rage because he couldn't find enough experts to uh, substantiate his claim. For years, the whereabouts of the painting were unknown, until now. Our cameras were the only ones allowed inside the Nevada Museum of Art as the painting was hung for the first time. The heirs of the Getz family approached the museum and our director David Walker about a year ago, um, basically with a long unsolved mystery. Using x-ray, infrared, and high-tech pigment analysis, the Nevada Museum of Art hopes to learn more about study by candlelight. So what if it is real? It's a Van Gogh. It's worth millions and millions of dollars. And if it's an imposter? It has no value at all. So is the painting real or fake? Well, that's a mystery that may never be solved. In Reno, Marissa Schwartz, News 4.